How has the human body made maths more difficult? And how would counting in twelves make our lives easier? In the modern world we group our numbers into tens, and therefore use the ten digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Once we get to 9, we have to start combining digits 10, 11, 12 and so on. This system is called base 10, but it is not the only way that we can count. We could use a number system with any number of digits. The most common bases throughout history have been base 5, base 10 and base 20. And this is because of the human body. 5 fingers on one hand, 10 fingers on two hands and 20 fingers and toes. The base 10 system has been used in the West for thousands of years. But despite this, some people have questioned whether it is the best system for counting. After all, if humans were born with three fingers on each hand, it is likely that we would be using base 6 to count our numbers. Some mathematicians believe that if we switch to base 12, also called the Dozenal system, our everyday maths will be much easier to learn and use. Base 12 has 12 digits, 0 to 9 and two extra ones to represent 10 and 11. These are most commonly written like this, and to avoid confusion are given the names Dec and L. We also give 10 the new name Do. So counting upwards from Do, we have Do 1 for 11, Do 2 for 12, Do 3 for 13, all the way up to 2 Do for 20. Although serious mathematics would not change, base 12 would make our everyday use of mathematics much easier. For example, learning multiplication as a child can be a difficult and arduous task. The easiest times tables to learn in any base system are the ones of numbers that divide that base. So in base 10, the 2 and 5 times tables are the easiest to learn because they are just the even numbers and the numbers ending in 5 or 0. In base 12, because 12 can be divided by 2, 3, 4 and 6, there are patterns in all of these times tables, making them much easier to memorise and learn. However, the greatest advantage of base 12 is how it cleans up fractions. In base 10, dividing can be messy and untidy. For example, a third of 10 is 3.333, where the 3s go on forever. A quarter of 10 is 2.5, which needs a decimal place. In comparison, in base 12 a third of Do is 4, and a quarter is 3. Or, expressed as a percentage, a third is 40% and a quarter is 30%, or per gross, as the term would now be called. If you compare how 100 is divided by the numbers 1 to 12 in base 10 and base 12, you can see how much cleaner and more simple base 12 is. However, when we first learn how to count as a child, we use our fingers. And as we only have 10 fingers, would a switch to base 12 make this more difficult? We can get around this by dividing our fingers up into 12 segments, like so. In fact, elaborate finger counting systems have existed across the world for thousands of years. A system used in China even allows you to count up to 9,999,999,999 with each finger having 9 imaginary points, 3 on each crease line. Despite all this, base 12 isn't going to replace our decimal system anytime soon. The change will be too confusing and expensive to implement, and with the invention of calculators and computers, there is much less need for mental arithmetic skills. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more unusual ideas on mathematics, then check out the book Alex's Adventures in Numberland by Alex Bellos. There's a link down in the description. You can check out my previous video all about homeopathy by clicking here. And to continue seeing videos like this, you can subscribe by clicking here. See you next time.